as Scott said, this is on my nightstand, the stash excerpt series. And I wanted to just implore you, if you haven't already, to pre-order Stash, My Life in Hiding. It's my new memoir, which is due out on March 7th, just in a couple weeks. Pre-orders are really important. There's a link in the show notes for you to pre-order it now. Just do it now before you even listen to the rest of the episode. Just go ahead and pre-order the book. um, And then I'm going to read a little bit of it to you. Okay? Right now, actually. So this is uh, the chapter Black in Malibu. And I'm pulling up to my kids' uh, private school. I am a pill addict. And I'm desperately trying to hide my pill addiction from everyone but especially the other adults at this school. At the Ashley School, there are only a handful of black moms, and they typically fall into one of two categories, the overly grateful scholarship moms or the militant Jack and Jill moms. Because I don't fall into either of those categories, I've been able to be friendly with everyone without allegiance to any one particular group a position that has afforded me the ability to always fly a little below the radar. Which is why when our head of school knocks on my car window at drop-off one April morning and asks to see me in her office, I am shocked and simultaneously filled with dread. We've never had anything more than a passing conversation. Why does she want to see me? I pull into a parking space and sit wringing my hands for about 15 minutes on the verge of tears. I smell an ambush. I feel trapped like that day in 10th grade when my counselor called me in and my mom and Kenny were waiting in her office. Fuck, 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 somebody told on me. There was that mom who saw me in the liquor store the other day at 9 a.m. buying a pint of vodka. I tried to act casual and make small talk, but I saw her notice the bag and then look at me. What possible excuse could anyone have for buying a pint at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday? Or maybe it was Miss Carter, the art teacher. I dropped a full Ambien bottle in the girls' bathroom stall two weeks ago, and the pills went everywhere. I was on my knees, shaking and sweating while picking them up when she came in. She seemed flustered, mumbling something about how she'd be back, and then left. The head of school wants to see me because she knows that I'm a spy living a double life. They all know that one day I'm an ordinary Hollywood mom waving hello to someone in the pickup line, and the next day I'm some pathetic junkie fishing an undigested pill out of her own vomit. Oh God, they're going to kick us out. They're going to ask us to leave. They can't have a drug addict mom here. Oh my God, my poor kids. I duck down in the car and snap a pill in half and wash it down with a few sips of Jordan's after-school Gatorade. Then I steal myself and cross the parking lot toward her office. She smiles widely when she sees me approaching her picture window, waving me in and indicating the seat across from her. You probably know why I asked you here today. Oh, maybe not. God, I hope not. I don't think so. I force a thin smile. Well, there's been much deliberation, but we've all met and discussed it, and I have to say the decision was unanimous. I hang my head. Maybe the floor will open and swallow me whole. Laura, we'd love for you to be our next Parent Association president. Say what? She tells me that everyone's been raving about me, saying what a big help I've been with the gala in last year's fair. Now she's smiling at me, waiting for a response, but I'm torn. On one hand, I know that being in such a tremendous leadership role would be my biggest command performance to date. Can I pull it off? I won't be able to fly under the radar any longer. I'll have to work closely with her and a whole committee. I'll have to get far more precise with my pill timing and managing my detoxes because I can't afford to let anyone get even a whiff of addiction. I'll really fucking have to have my shit together. On the other hand, being named PA president in the middle of this mess could be the best him trying to paint me as an addict foiling ever. I could crumble his case against me with one magnificent move. Him. 
But, Your Honor, my wife is a drug addict. She's unfit to raise our kids. Judge, but she was just named PA president at your children's school. How bad can it be? If I do this, I'll have to maximize my hiding in plain sight skills, leveling them up to flawless, become a master of deception. It will be a full-time job.